Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video I'm going to talk about my top five must-have, cannot live without Android applications. Let's get to it. So in this video we're not going to cover the built-in apps like Calculator and Mail and Calendar because those are kind of obvious. We're also not going to cover the apps that probably everyone has like Twitter and Facebook because those two are also very obvious. We're going to talk about some slightly more obscure applications uh, that you can find in the Android market, most of which are free. So let's start off with number one, and these aren't ranked in any particular order, just going through the five applications. The first one is Verizon Fios DVR Manager. If you use Verizon Fios cable service for your television, you can get this going if you have a DVR in your apartment or your house. Now, if you're using Comcast Xfinity or another cable service, it's likely that the, the company has a similar app that you can use. So let's go into this application. And yes, I am recording uh, Jersey Shore. And uh, if you don't watch Jersey Shore, you're just not admitting it because you probably do. Um, so what you can do here is you get this great on-screen guide that is already pre-cached. So it is really fast performance. You can flick around, scroll around. It just performs very well. And if you find something that you want to record, let's say Top Chef, you tap on it. It gives you a little synopsis, the cast. And from here, you press record show, and it records it. It's very simple. Furthermore, if you want to record the entire series, you press record series. It sets up a recording job on your DVR remotely uh, so that every episode of Top Chef will now be recorded. It was really interesting. The other day, uh, the Grammys were on sort of halfway through, and I remembered that it was on and I forgot to record it. So I took out uh, this application, I pressed record on, gra on the Grammys, and within about two seconds, I see the little red light on the DVR flicker on in the living room. It's just, it, it's just amazing how instantaneous it is and how a phone can have a connection with your DVR uh, wherever you are in the world. Just a, a really cool idea that we actually have the technology to do that. So let's move on. At number two here is just simply Amazon. Uh, if you don't use the Amazon app, you should. Amazon sells everything nowadays, and the application makes it really easy to sort of, I don't want to say impulse buy, but, but buy something uh, within a moment's notice when you're out and about and you think of something you want. For example, what if you need a micro USB car charger? Your phone just died in your car and you're thinking to yourself, if only I had a simple micro USB car charger, this wouldn't have happened. So here we have the listings and the one on the top is the most relevant so we can tap on it. You can already see four and a half out of five star rating. So it's gotta be pretty good, right? Uh, so we scroll down and from here, you don't even have to put in your password if you have it set up with one click. You press get this item free uh, with the free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. If not, it'll be a charge but one touch and the item is on its way to you. Another cool feature of the Amazon app is the barcode scanner. So I'm gonna go over here to barcode and let's say you are out of tissues and you don't feel like going to the store to buy more tissues. Well, you can buy them through Amazon. You don't even have to type the name of the product. What we're gonna do here is go to the barcode scanner, I'm going to position this on the barcode and boom, it works so fast. And there we have the exact match for the product that I just scanned, tissues. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so that's the Amazon app, it is free. Another app that I use all the time, and this is because I'm kind of obsessed with uh, testing my internet speed, is the speedtest.net application. I'm reviewing phones, I wanna know at various locations what the speed test is going to be like, and I get kind of excited when I see big uh, uh, numbers come through the application. It's a great app, it's very accurate most of the time. I say most of the time because there are some situations where it doesn't really uh, work that well, especially if you don't have the server set. But from here, you can choose a server that is near you. And definitely you wanna get the server closest to you to get the best results. And you run the test and it tells you your download speed, your upload speed, you can compare it with friends or whatever you may want to do. There's also a results column so you can keep track of all of these speeds that you've gotten and you can differentiate between cellular data and Wi-Fi data here on your device. So really cool app, speedtest.net application, really the, the quintessential app if you want to, to benchmark your cellular data speed. Moving on, the next app I want to talk about here is Words with Friends. This was previously an iOS only application. What it allows you to do is to play an ongoing game of Scrabble with your friends on your terms. And what I mean by that is that 
When your friend moves, you get a notification, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device or an iPad, that says, hey, it's your turn. Now, you don't have to move right now. You can move in an hour from now. You can move tomorrow. You can move next week. It's kind of a leisurely game of Scrabble on your own terms with your friends, and it's just a lot of fun, and it works really well. That's another free application. Another application here that I want to talk about is Droid Analytics. Google Analytics is sort of the tool to use to track website data. So if you have a blog or if you have uh, some sort of website, you want to see how many hits you get, how many page views you get. This is an ideal application that hooks seamlessly into Google Analytics. It's about $3. Forget what the exact amount is these days. They've been changing the price. But if you pull it up, you'll get a list of all the sites you watch. And here's an old PocketNow site that's really not doing anything anymore. It's called WM5 Fix Site. We launched it in like 2005. Uh, and here you can see basically what, what, the, uh, what the stats are. So page views, visits, visitors, pages per visit, bounce rate, and time. And you can flip through, you can custom filter. Just a really cool application. I use it almost every day uh, to track uh, website data. Very, very useful indeed. And finally, the last application that I could not live without is the New York Times application. I really like the New York Times. I like their journalistic style. And this application allows me to keep up to date with what the New York Times is writing about on a daily basis. You start off in the main screen here. You go to latest news. And it gives you a little synopsis, a little picture. You see something you like. You can click on it. And you can also change the text size here through the menu. So you can make it a lot smaller if you have really good eyes and so on and so forth. Just a cool application that brings forth the New York Times coverage. It is a free application. Please leave a comment and let us know your top five apps you could not live without. We're going to have other PocketNow editors come on and talk about their five must-have, cannot live without apps, but we really want to know what yours are too. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. That's it for now.